Here is a normal esophagus wall on the bottom. Please note that the esophagus should be 100% non-keratinized stratified squamous mucosa. It may have some mucosa, submucosal glands, but the surface epithelium itself should be squamous. I think you can recognize this as squamous with a more columnar type of epithelium on the bottom, a cuboidal in the middle, and flattened or squamoid on the top. So the mucosa is always named by the most superficial layer. This is normal. Notice there are no hair follicles or uh, sweat glands. And please notice that um, there's no keratinization either. The nuclei extend all the way to the surface. This is what a normal esophagus mucosa should look like 100%. Well, look up here. What do we have here on top? What we have here on top is an esophageal muscular wall, probably predominantly smooth muscle, unless it was near the upper portions, you might find some strips of skeletal muscle. We see a nice submucosa here, which is looser and very vascular, and we could see that the mucosa is not squamous at all, but it looks what they call intestinal or gastric, sometimes this is called intestinalization of the esophagus and it is lined by a papillary type of uh, columnar mucosa, not uh, squamous at all. And um, this in itself is an adaptive process, usually to uh, reflux of gastric acid. It is not in itself dysplastic or premalignant, but prolonged uh, Barrett's esophagus for many years are statistically associated with an increase of cancers. And of course, do you think the cancer would be squamous or adeno? Of course it would be adeno because this Barrett's esophagus is glandular, isn't it? Thank you very much.